more on why Alibaba is the talk of the tech world right now, we are joined by Ari Zoldan. He's the CEO of Quantum Networks, an e-commerce company. Thank you for joining us, Ari. Great to be here. All right, well, let's talk about the fact that, uh, you know, of course, everyone in China knows what Alibaba is. But when it comes to the international market, how aware are, is the retail investor of, of Alibaba? What do right. they know about the company? So most people know absolutely nothing about Alibaba in the United States. You go across the ocean, go into China, I mean, everything is, is plastered with the Alibaba name. Uh, it's an e-commerce platform. You can buy products, you can sell products, and now offering financial services. Um, but they're going to they're gonna start making a big play in the United States, I think. You think they're going to make a big play in the United States? I think How so. so? What does that mean? I mean, I think right now we, we have Amazon and we have eBay. And, uh, and if, I were, if I were heading up both Amazon and eBay, I'd be, I'd be looking over my shoulder, being a little bit concerned about this little company I'm hearing in the background called Alibaba. Okay, you say that, but in the filing, there was no mention about global expansion. So why are you convinced that Alibaba is going to make inroads in the U.S., or at least try to? Right. I mean, I don't think right now, I think they have a, enough enough work on their plate right now, but definitely think in the next 18 to 24 months, they're going to be eyeing the United States. Okay, and so in terms of, uh, you said they've got enough on their plate right now in right. China, because there's, it is the largest internet market in the world, 618 million users, of which only 302 million are online shoppers. So what is Alibaba going to have to do to get more of those internet users to actually buying things online? Well, right now, the mobile explosion obviously has been occurring over the past 10 years. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be an easy way to be able for people to purchase product and services right off their mobile phones. And I think that that's their target market right now. It's not brick and mortar. It's not retail. It's, it's straight all E. Mobile. It's all about the shop. That's, but that's with, mobile, it, with every mobile, tech company mobile. South Facebook as well. And exactly. I think one of the concerns as well is there was no real mention of how they plan on monetizing mobile, how they plan on getting more advertisers to place ads sure. on mobile, et cetera. Uh, we saw that was the issue with Facebook, and we all know what happened with the, the price at the beginning, at least, right. when it started trading. So how concerned should investors be about the fact that there doesn't seem to be, at least in the prospectus, a, a very clear strategy in tapping into mobile? Well, I think there is. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a total e-commerce play. It's just one very big shopping cart, and it's a shopping cart that every single Chinese person has right on their mobile phone. So I, I think it's a slam dunk for Alibaba. Okay, now you did mention that uh, Amazon and some of the other players here in the U.S. might be concerned or should be concerned. But at the same time, um, what does the company have to do to win over U.S. consumers right now? I think there's, uh, there's some serious confidence issues. I know that there's, there's a lot of piracy and there's a lot of counterfeiting coming out of the Chinese market right now. So that needs to be cleaned up. They've been talk the government's been talking about cleaning up and cracking down for some time, but I think little has been done. So I think that has to be the first area of concern. A second area of, of concern has to be about complete financial transparency within the organization. Right, because uh, we saw a couple of years ago that a lot of the Chinese companies uh, that were listed here in the U.S., there were some accounting scandals, and that scared off a lot of U.S. investors. Right. Right. Um, so how important is it uh, that, that the company is transparent? I mean, how is it going to convince U.S. investors that it is a safe place sure. to invest in? Yeah, and it's definitely it's a very big concern. I mean, they have to go above and beyond. You know, just the, you know this is not the normal course of action. I think branding messages, messaging is going to be super important. But, you know, really showing that the company is completely transparent given these obstacles they're having in China. Okay, and in terms of, of sort of tapping into the U.S. market, what kind of acquisitions are we seeing the company making here in the U.S.? I mean, I could see them eyeing, you know, a small search engine called Bing, maybe. Um, <laughs> we, we, know, we know Yahoo right now is going to be cashing out of this opportunity in, in the sum of, you know, $10 billion. Um, but they're going to have so much cash on their hands so they can start gobbling up some of these smaller, smaller Internet companies. Okay, and another thing that wasn't really mentioned uh, in the filing was the economic situation in China, which has been cooling somewhat. If it continues to cool down, uh, how, how crucial could that could that hurt Alibaba's business? I don't think it's going to. You've got you've still got four, uh, 500 million Chinese adults on their mobile phone. They're purchasing products. This is going to slow down, you know, possibly, but I think it's going to be sig really, really insignificant. And I guess when you have 80% of the market, you're, you're pretty much and almost And it doesn't really <laughs> matter that much, you know, right. so I agree. Okay, I agree. let's talk a little bit about Jack Ma. Uh, yeah. Would you say he is tantamount in sort of to Apple's uh, Steve Jobs in that he's a very charismatic CEO, the founder of the company? How crucial is it that he remain a part of the company for, for it to succeed? I mean, if, if, for example, there'd be any shift in management, would that be very detrimental? Is that a risk 
for investors. Oh, big time. I think it always is. You know, you look at the founder, you look at the person's vision, what they what they put together. Um, is, it a dent is it detrimental? I mean, I don't think it's a major detrimental because he has built a very significant company. And I think the company is somewhat, you know, so to speak, running on its own right now. But in terms of like leadership, I mean, you know, he's the found, you know, one of the founders of the company. So I, I do think it is instrumental in the continuous of the company. Okay. So, so lastly, you think it's going to be a successful IPO? I think it's going to be tremendous. Yeah. I really do. All right. Thank you so much my for joining pleasure, us tonight. My pleasure. And that was Ari Zoldan, the CEO of Quantum Networks, an e-commerce company.